Hello, today I am going to prepare mullet fish curry with coconut juice or it is called shouti chakadi that is a Mangalorean dish uh, so you can either uh, apply little salt and um, uh, turmeric on the fish keep it aside for some time and then uh, fry it a bit for about maybe one minute on each side or two minutes on each side slightly fry and then add to the curry or you may put the mullets uh, steaks sliced mullet pieces directly into the curry so these are two large mullets or shouto and uh, I got uh, with that fish roe which I put in the curry and these are um, the small bags with the intestine which is we call it gant I'll clean it up and then we can add it to the curry I got this mullet cleaned and in the, in the, in the, the insides are cleaned I told them not to cut it because uh, they cut it to big chunks I don't want that I want to do thin slices and I will now take off the the fins and the the tail I'll cut up the head into halves and uh, clean the row and also the the intestine that uh, the gant which you call uh, yeah so I have now cleaned the fish and what I did is uh, I cut one of the mullets already cut and one is cleaned and uh, I'll cut it now so I use the fish scissors to cut the fins and the tail and also use this side to take off the scales if any because uh, they don't do a good job in the market now this is that gant which I was talking about now when there are uh, in uh, we used to put them all in on the skewer and barbecue them so after applying a little masala so this I will uh, put in the curry or you can even uh, boil it a bit and fry so this is the fish roe which is cleaned and uh, I'll put in the curry and now I will uh, what I decided is one mullet I will put it straight into the curry without frying and the other one I will fry slightly apply little turmeric and salt a little vinegar or paste and uh, use it to I put in the curry so this is the head so what I do is I cut it up a bit on the top and then use the knife to make it two halves and then make into steaks Yeah, I've done a paste of um, one teaspoon of salt, uh, half a teaspoon of turmeric, or three fourth, one teaspoon of um, pepper powder, and a little vinegar. And now I'll apply this to the fish, one or one mullet, and uh, keep it for some time. Now mix it well. And including I put that one of the I mean both the gant or the the knot which is there in the fish at the intestine part and we'll also put one two of the rows into this apply the masala nicely to it and keep for about 10-15 uh, minutes mm. and fry it shallow fry it for some time maybe two minutes on each side and take it out so now we have the marinated uh, mullet one mullet and then the the fish with the roe which is not uh, marinated and then uh, four onions to be chopped finely chopped 
one you used uh, in the beginning, one of the onions, so uh, just seasoning in the beginning and then uh, you have uh, a piece of ginger, maybe two inches, about 10 green chilies and uh, about 10 to 12 cloves garlic, all to be sliced and then 20 red chilies, one teaspoon of uh, mustard seeds, two tablespoons of coriander seeds, one tablespoon of uh, cumin seed and one teaspoon of turmeric powder. Now I, you have to use one coconut for this which has to be scraped and ground and then uh, taken out the juice, the thin juice and the thick juice and uh, that's a laborious process so instead of that I'm using for this uh, quantity of uh, fish two mullets I'm using two coconut tins about 400 ml each one I'll uh, use it for uh, grinding the masala that is the red masala uh, chili powder and uh, cumin seed and coriander seeds and mustard to be ground in that so I'll dilute that a bit and then one, the other one I'll use it uh, finally for thickening the curry the last one and also we require a little vinegar about uh, three tablespoons of vinegar three four maybe and uh, let's decide uh, according to taste and also some salt so now we will fry the fish and also grind the masala and cut the um, green masala that is the ginger chilies and uh, um, garlic and also the onions I put about 4 uh, tablespoons of oil, heated it up and now I am frying the marinated pieces of fish, the roe and uh, also the, the knot, that is uh, the intestine knot. So that will be slightly about uh, 2 minutes each on, uh, on each side and then afterwards we will put it in the curry. So I fried the fish, that one mullet. And now, in the same oil, I will put in the one onion, that is chopped onion, and fry it for some time. And now also, I have sliced the green chili and also the ginger, I sliced the garlic now, and uh, chopped the onion. Now also ground the chilies, turmeric, coriander seeds and uh, cumin seed, mustard with uh, diluted coconut milk. So this after the onions are fried we will add the uh, masala, the ground masala into that and then uh, we will add uh, the red, uh, the green masala that is the uh, garlic ginger and uh, green chilies into that and let it cook in with the onion the other part of the, the three onions which are remaining chopped onions would add it and uh, also add about uh, four cups of water three to four cups of water and uh, allow it to cook in that now one onion which i put is now brown is done now we'll add the ground masala and allow it to fry well okay let it thicken it thicken into that and uh, when it's well fried let I add about uh, four cups of water including the masala water from here four to five depending how much how the how much quantity of the fish and uh, how much gravy you want because you are also going to put the coconut milk the remaining coconut milk, the thick milk later on and also from the fish you will get some more water liquid from it so once this is well fried you will add the water and also the green masala with the remaining onions and then allow it to cook 
now the the ground masala is fried well let's add the about the three cups of water i'm adding the masala water the remaining thin coconut juice you can add little more water into that yeah and then the now we'll add the three chopped onions and uh, green chilies sliced green chilies the garlic and uh, ginger and let it cook in this for about 10 15 minutes on slow fire once it's cooked then we'll add the first the fish which is slice uh, fish steaks which is not uh, fried minutes later maybe uh, about 10 minutes later then we'll add the fried fish and then the vinegar about 3 tablespoons of vinegar and salt to taste and finally we'll add uh, the coconut milk the thick coconut milk we will now check whether the the green masala is cooked yes it looks like it's cooked so now we'll add the it's also boiling so good we will add the fish first we'll add the fish which was not, pieces which are not fried and uh, this will for about 7 minutes after 7 minutes about 7 to 10 minutes maybe depending on uh, the flame that is gas or uh, your this electrical so I, I keep it for a little bit longer then you add the fried pieces so I'm adding this including the roe there's also roe in the fr fried fish and uh, keep it just let it immerse keep it for about 7 to 10 minutes and then add the fish pieces the taste of the curry will differ if it's only unfried uh, the fish uh, unfried fish pieces you're adding then the taste is different and the fried pieces if you add in the curry it's different so now i'm going to add both which is the first time for me and i i know it will be good but the tip is that if there are children they would prefer the fried pieces because they are more firmer otherwise uh, traditionally we used to cook with the, um, only the unfried pieces cook this on slow fire one thing you have to remember is that the fish cooks very fast so now I have, after 5 minutes I have opened it and I feel that the, this fish is nearly cooked so that's good so now we'll add the fried fish pieces which is 3 fourth cooked and allow it to cook on slow fire for about uh, another 3-4 minutes 3 minutes is enough I think because it's already cooked then we will add the the thick coconut juice yes now it's looks like it's all cooked so now what we'll do is we'll add the thick coconut milk which is a slow fire now yeah yeah that is the whole can I use 400 ml we'll add uh, about 4 tablespoons of uh, 
vinegar and I'll add a little salt just for salt the taste the salt the taste you check it later on again for salt and allow this to for one boil maybe yeah just a boil that's it one boil ah yes check for uh, salt and vinegar yeah little salt maybe vinegar is fine half teaspoon salt put off the flame close it that's it 